Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? What's going on? We are here doing good stuff in the game. Uh, we started off with the main menu, so I did all the initialize, all that stuff. Uh, once we create the main menu, it'll initialize itself. So that's good. It'll initialize the buttons. So what I want to do is I want to do this. I want to go in and I bet I do that in game already, right? Let me just go all the way up. Uh, by the way, just quickly in here, we close these while as I go. Uh, but there are too many. I'm, I'm not sure I want to do that. Let's go to initialize. Initialize textures. Go to definition. In it textures. Bullet player. Map button. So I do in it textures right there. I don't think I do that in here because I already do it in game. I don't have to do any textures then. Uh, so that's good. All right, main menu. So that's fine. So we initialized all the textures for the buttons, so we don't have to worry. As I initialize the buttons, I'm gonna have to create a W button. Um, button. Button. And I'm gonna do. Let's see. This buttons dot add. W button. Let's do a font. Obviously an ID. So this is gonna be. Uh, what is this gonna be? Survival mode button font oh there isn't a font here so I'm gonna have to go into main menu and obviously I think in in game we loaded a font so if I just get some space to breathe here from all these open things it's annoying me let me just see where I in game where I created a font so we have a font right here somewhere here we go font so when I create a main menu I need to send in a font a font obviously you must have a font main menu font Font. So you create it with a font. That's okay, I guess. All right, so we we do that. Maybe I I want that as a pointer though. I don't think I need that as a pointer though. Initialize W button init buttons so with a font font oh wait I'll just send in fonts here we'll do the same thing we need to do that in initialize buttons and we need to do it in initialize because initialize button needs it so then we'll say font in here. Uh, string std string text. So this is sur survival mode. Let's just call it survival. Char size twelve. Position vector two f. Button. Uh, what if we do this button and then font survival 12 vector 2f and we'll do this 2f uh, will be at 0 0 f we're gonna need window bounds in here texture index I guess we'll just use 0 um but 
some textures. Okay, so that's okay. Zero. Survival mode button. We'll create one of those. We'll add the or the regular. Actually, this will be that regular mode button. Survival mode button. Regular. Is it regular or normal? Normal mode button. Normal mode button. Normal. 12 uh, it's good and then we'll change these later so we have to create this with a main menu a vector 2i window bounds as well so we're gonna need that we're gonna need a window bounds kind of thing there wait this is public and what don't we have a private private vector 2i bounds so this is the initialize it's a font we'll skip this you know we'll skip this we'll skip all of this we'll create it in here as a pointer to font and then we'll do this we'll initialize and then we'll remove font from all of these you know why because we'll just have one font pointer in here so font font and then main menu Font. So as we initialize, it buttons initialize in it. Variables. So this uh, font equals wait we're gonna have to do all of this up here so let's just initialize variables up here initialize variables equals font so they're pointing to the same thing uh, this window bounds equals window bounds all right so let's just do that then we'll initialize and as that is done we'll initialize everything else so when we init buttons we'll have to say uh, this font dereferenced this font dereferenced and then we'll add an exit button exit button add btn exit to windows Twelve zero zero. This font. Boom, boom, boom. Easy. Initialize. That's good. Uh, cool. Then we'll update everything. Nice. All right. So that's that's good. Let's just try the game out as it is. Just before we create a main menu, I'm thinking I'll create a main menu up here after game and then we'll we'll just use that as some kind of a nice little hub area so everything's working even the collision to some degree I mean I've, the problem is that when we move the character we're not moving the character I mean we're not updating it in the speed the, the base speed the 20 the the scroll speed is not in the player's actual move speed so the collision doesn't really work 
in that sense. But yeah, everything else is still working, just the way it should. All that, that stuff. Let me just see if the shield and everything is working still. Yep, it is. It was. That's cool. So I can just about shield all of this stuff. Nice. And obviously all the enemy spawners are working. So we're good. What I want to do, I want to make one main menu for the game. And the thing is that game initializes the button button thingies button texture so we're gonna have to create a main menu after game so an after game map maker as well main menu menu main menu with game dot get game dot font I need to get the font from game the loaded font the game's own font what I could do though is I could have any choice of font in here actually could remove this and just load my own font right I could do that no biggie this font dot load from file and then I'm just gonna go into game initialize text in it text initialize load from file copy this the osis light apparently uh, and then main menu all right so we'll load it again we'll just load it again and then say this font this font this font so cool then we have our update and we have our draw and that's good now all the menu stuff is going to be drawn on the screen not on the not on that but we need to get the mouse positions from game then how are we going to do that how are we going to do that if I have main menu in here maybe I should run main menu in game what do you guys think menu so main menu main menu all right main menu main menu and the way main menu works, I need window bounds. But game has the window pointer in itself. Okay. So I'm going to have to create that. Let me just think here, guys. Let me just think a little bit. Let me just think. Okay, so in game we do all this stuff and then we initialize afterwards so I want to run the main menu initialization after so we have a default constructor and then we have main menu we'll remove this and we'll kind of initialize it with everything we need to initialize afterwards. So we'll remove this as well. Okay, we have a default constructor. And in initialize, in the regular initialize, we'll do this. So window. Uh, to I bounds okay we'll initialize that 
like this and then we'll set that we'll load a new font any font we want for the main menu it can be different all right so we have to call initialize so in game in initialize what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call the main menu initialize function so initialize view the font the textures after textures is where I have to initialize it because that's where the button textures are So how about I just initialize all the game stuff after textures and then let me just do init main menu this main menu dot uh, initialize initialize mm, this window get size all right so this is perfect uh, this window dot get size all right uh, what no wait it should be like this shouldn't it Oh, vector to you. You. To you. Let's go to main menu.cpp as well. Vector to you. There we go. All right. So now we figured this out the way we want to do this. So we initialize the main menu. Initialize. Let's make another one. Let's make initialize menus. Void game init menus, and then we'll just make sure we initialize the main menu and everything else. Uh, go into game, all our functions, initialize textures, initialize menus, void init menus. Uh, init menus and then init menus boom good all right that's good that's what we want so we'll initialize it the main menu then we're gonna init in game menu later but for now it's a main menu then we're gonna do this We're going to go in a game and then we're going to do what we need is we need some type of a boolean in it that's going to do update. So we need to go into update and draw. So in draw we're going to say if the main menu is you know active then we're not going to do all this stuff we're just going to draw the main menu well if it's not active then we're going to do that something else same thing with update we're not going to update anything and we're just going to reset every time we press a button so we have to update the buttons as well but that's okay for now we're good we're gucci um we're gonna have to make it update menus thing in here and update and draw menus and update menus but especially update menus is what we're gonna have to do so that's gonna happen while the game is not running and then when we press a button something special is gonna happen like reset close down the menu start the game whatever so we'll have to figure that out some way or another but this video is pretty long so I'm gonna end it here uh, but thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.